Eastern Kentucky is a unique place. When a natural disaster occurs, there is no other way to survive than to help each other. This community just comes together. Part of being a pastor is acknowledging the tough parts of life. And we never know if a flood or an ice storm is going to keep us from getting to do what we need to do. And to worry about my people and our parish during the flood, this is a really, really hard time, but God's still here in it. Being Catholic means being the face of God to others. It's being there to give drink to the thirsty, to give food to the hungry, to clothe those who need clothing, to visit the sick and those in prison. When somebody has a need, we see God in them and we try to address that need as if that person were God in front of us. To be Catholic for me means to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. I have a, a responsibility, a response to Christ to take the gospel message out into the world. Definitely being in a church that's called Good Shepherd now is crucial in that mission of going out and taking care of those in need. The Catholic population in this area is pretty small, but our presence is pretty large. We are known as the place to come to to get help. A Newman Center is a dedicated ministry um, that serves the needs of students, faculty, and staff of a public university. Uh, my wife Dot and I built the Centro de San Juan Diego. We picked this particular location because there are 10,000 Hispanics who can walk here in less than 20 minutes. And we're here to serve everyone in need. As everyone knows, this year was challenging in multiple ways. We have the additional problems of the flooding that happened in so many places in eastern Kentucky where people were barely scraping by as it was. And if it weren't for the church and other churches stepping in, many of those people would still be struggling today. Everything that you do to help build up the Diocese of Lexington allows us to have outreach in the places where our presence is needed the most. St. Martha is located in Prestonsburg, which is the city of the area. Most people live along the haulers. There's both a strong sense of, of, of hard work and definitely of, definitely of independence. It's a uniquely situated parish in Ashland, Kentucky, and it's right where three states, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia come together. This parish is really small at St. Paul Catholic Mission in McKee and there are a whole lot of single parent or single grandparent homes. The only time that they may meet Jesus in the flesh is through us. It's a wonderful thing that our reputation in this area has come to be of one that cares about people. So the work we do here at Good Shepherd in Hampton is all about making disciples, right, and leading people to God. And you can't do that without relationships and without love and care. And for some people, you can't even get to that point without taking care of basic needs. We're here for something even greater than people's material needs, and that's their spiritual needs and their eternal soul. And so we have the wonderful work of people see us loving people materially. Now we want to invite them gently to understand we're here for actually something even better than that. But by being Christ to them, they see Christ. And it's also led to people joining the church. We're trying to serve the, the underserved. Uh, and most of the underserved in this area are immigrants from other places. So the outside by design looks like a mission church. And we try to carry that theme, you know, on, on the inside, uh, you, you get the feeling that you're someplace in Latin America by design. Make it look like home, make it feel like home, and then do something for them. There's, there's no aspect of their life that we cannot help or improve here. If you're looking at medical, legal, educational, uh, counseling, uh, and last of which, and not the least, is their faith. College students are at this junction in their life that we could lose them if we don't reach out to them, if we don't give them a sense of belonging, a sense of being wanted, not just needed. I think what's special here at our Newman Center is that we're all unified in that we're Catholic and we're students at EKU. 
They are not the future of the church, they are the church. They have a voice in the church, their ideas matter. This Newman Center gives us the opportunity to grow in our faith and really say we are the hands and feet of Christ. All of our parishes, especially in Eastern Kentucky, have long said that we serve people not because they're Catholic, but because we're Catholic. Every year our annual appeal is an opportunity for Catholics to realize that we are more than just their parish or their mission, but we are collectively the body of Christ. We are collectively the local church of the Diocese of Lexington, our 50 counties in Central and Eastern Kentucky. And it's very important that we see the connection among us. Many of the small churches in Eastern Kentucky, including here in McKee, could not keep their doors open without the support of an annual appeal. So what the appeal does here for our folks in Campton is helps us to continue ministry, helps us to keep serving food, helps us to keep providing clothing and blankets and helping those in need. It's really important for people to be generous with the annual appeal because it helps us to realize that we are part of something larger than just who we are. So if you make a contribution to the diocesan annual appeal, your funds are gonna go directly to the support of the poorest of the poor, of the underserved. Supporting the annual appeal is meeting tangible needs in communities that desperately need our help. I think it's a great investment um, the diocese makes in our campus ministries, whether it be EKU, Moorhead State, or UK. It means that they have a place to live and grow in their faith. If we want to see Catholicism thrive, we have to unite together. We need your support. And I would encourage everybody to give the annual appeal and look at, at what it does. You know, the retired priests, the Hispanic ministries. We need to show God's love to all the people. And through this ministry, you can do that. I want to be present and be giving people hope. And this is what church is all about. If your heart is telling you that you want to help serve the underserved, and you want to see something uh, concrete for your, for your contribution, have confidence to know that your money is going to help improve the quality of each person who receives the service here. That there is a call to great unity and that even with all of our variety of gifts and talents and abilities, we are called to be one church in Christ. You think about helping build up the church beyond your local parish or mission. Think about those people that might be quite far from you who've struggled. Think about those who are homeless. Think about those who are struggling to rebuild their lives. Think about those who have lost loved ones at this time and how important our connections as a people of faith and our outreach as we put the gospel into practice can be. Your contribution makes it possible. Thank you so much for your generosity.